This is going to be a message for the next time that something like this happens. You are coming late. I'm coming late for what? Too late. If he's late, this thing will not be here again. As in, if he's late, this thing will not be here again. I was about to take a bath and I decided to show you guys what I'm noticing. I obviously haven't been in this bathroom. I haven't showered here in a while and they even cleaned it when I was coming two days ago but then we have something going on in Potako right now called suit and it's basically this black um, thing you know everywhere you touch there's like black residue so I just put on my shower and there was just so much black and I'm like like look at in all the surfaces like the suit has gathered and then there's just so much black stuff on the floor I'll try and show you guys more outside but it's definitely part of it's definitely an effect of the oil scandals and the oil exploitation that we faced in the south and it's our environmental rights are really important and no one seems to be taking it seriously so I'm gonna show you guys what's going down in pH Do not try this at home but okay can you guys see how black this thing is like it's unnaturally black even like the walls of the house are black like they have this black thing now I'll rub the floor the floors are cleaned every morning in this house look at that the camera is not doing doing it justice this thing is blacker than normal dust I meant to show you that I live in my village I'm actually stopping to get this is my village this is where I am from this is where I was born and raised Rukwa Kualusi town look at it over there I meant to show you guys this because yeah you should really just know me I need to stop by a pharmacy I think there's one up here and get biscuits and also get painkillers for Cuba um, Shit, I don't know if anyone will be open. Life in this village. Well, we call it a town now. But this is my village. Do you want to buy medicine? Do you have medicine? My painkiller? Nothing at all. Okay. What are your biscuits? Okay. Please. Let me just get this. Uh... So something really funny just happened. One of my mom's workers saw me um, walking to the supermarket to get the biscuits and medicine. You Meanwhile, okay, Cuba, when you watch this, I couldn't get medicine. You can see I tried. But yeah, just saw me walking. He was like, he just came out. Why are you trekking? I'm like, bro, this is such a weird place. That's her calling right now, Ebony. This nice guy is there, really directing me. Thank you. See, my village peeps are nice. I'm from a good village. They're watching me. Bye. My peeps watching me. PH. So Potakot is such a funny place. Let me start with this. There's a lot of pain and there's a lot of pleasure in Potakot city. Potakot is the oil rich city in Nigeria. This is where most of the work goes down. This is where most of the money was coming from. You know, River State. Okay, River State is big. I'm from Potakot. So Potakot is actually not where the oil is from. The oil is from River State. Yeah. Um. Oh, I see my sunscreen. Let me have my glasses back up big. But yeah, so there's a lot of pain and there's also a lot of pleasure as I was just trying to describe with the suit thing. We've gone through so much and we are still dealing with the consequences of the oil exploitation that happened. You know, I'm sure you know about the whole shell scandal. So we're still dealing with all of that. And even, you know, there's a lot of pain in the sense of a lot of people that are from here feel like they were slighted not should I say from here from 
like Ogoni, the Ogoni people, the people where the oil actually is and where they are extracting the oil from and the people dealing with the consequences of their sham extractions, you know, they extract in a way that's harmful to the environment where they are. As I said, we're dealing with suit all the way in Portacos. Meanwhile, I wonder what kind of air they are breathing over there in Ogoni. And then, you know, we're also dealing with insecurity. There was a whole kidnapping crisis at some point. And a lot of people just associate Potako with like danger and, as I said, pain and um, vengeance. But Potako is on the rise and that's a big part of this vlog. I want to show you guys that PH, we're killing things or we're making moves. So you guys should stop sleeping on us. Come down south. Down south is where it's at. You know how Houston is, um, or should I say, I love Houston by the way, but how Houston is, is what I envision for Potaco. Like that's where, like Texas is where the, the money is at, like the oil is at. River states, that's where like the Texas of Nigeria, if I'll put it like that. So my family friend is hosting this show today called Plugged. The video is going to be coming. I want to show you guys this view. But yeah, the video is gonna be coming and it's gonna be in our pleasure park. So this is like the behind the scenes. Ooh, 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 we getting there. Look at what our governor has done. His Excellency, Wike is walking. Second term, we're coming for you. But yeah, see pleasure park. It's getting full plugged. Yeah, you see that? You see that? Okay, this is Pleasure Park. Like a whole obstacle course. Me and Kyoba went on that. I think we were probably the first ladies to do that because everyone was looking at us like, are you mad? Why are babes climbing? So yeah, this is Pleasure Park. It's really cool. I'll show you guys when I actually get in. I don't know if these ones are already here for the show. Or if these are the bouncers. Let me call Cuba back. He was on her way to save me. Yes. Hey, babes! Black. BH Blog! Like! <laughs> Organizers? Oh, is that mine? For media? Oh, please yeah. can you show them your tag, babes? I can play. Oh, backstage. Yeah! I was looking for your name now. Is that not your name? Victor is calling me. Okay, okay. Hello, Victor. Oh, virtues. Thank so you. Pleasure part. Okay, sorry. We are pop. Oh, oh. Welcome to Plugged. Plug the music festival. Yeah. Call, call, call. We live. This is the real plug in PH though. Even though this festival says plug. <laughs> Yoba is the real plug. Oh, we have food stands and all. Already. Yeah. Nice. I have been here already. Well, I have been here. As in, it's his picture. Yeah. Hi. Likes you. Likes you. Why do you like me? He likes you because you're sparkling. I'm sparkling, Abby. <laughs> Welcome to Plugs. Welcome to Plugs. Backstage. Aku. Aku. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling about vlogs? I'm vlogging. I'm feeling very good. Feeling very excited. Who are you most excited to see? Why is everyone saying David? Uh, I want somebody to mention a Potako artist. Cool ah, yeah, cool <laughs> That's the way. Backdrops for tonight. Hey, my people, my people, process. Uh -uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh. 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 Oh.
This is gonna be the stage. Best DJ in Potako. DJ Janelle. DJ Janelle. You're live right now. You're on my vlog. What up, DJ Janelle? Sound check. Yeah. Sold out vlog. You're not here. You've not gotten a ticket. Sorry. I'm sorry. Better luck next year. Call my mom's workers. My mom is a kitchen, guys. I need to call her. Her people and make sure that they're coming. Hello, Chinedu. Eh? He said that you should come at like three. By three o'clock. Eh, that you can bring dishes. He wants you to set it up proper. We have any points. He said that. Ah, let me confirm. It's okay, not a big place you. though. I think I think one will be okay. One. Okay. But let me just okay. confirm from him, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Tyrant, where are you off to? To look for your truck. Please come with me. I want, I want, I want us to go around um, the whole spot. Do you know where they lock the animals? The... Let's go and show them. Yeah, Hello, Chinedu. Sorry, he said just one. Okay. All right. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Your workers are in your house. They are very polite. That's somebody from your house. Uh, <laughs> people that are safe for your mom. Thank God. They are very polite. You know, my mom has put a fear of the Lord in there, right? They are extra polite. And they don't forget. They yeah. Don't know, like the other food, even if Ooh. they take 30 minutes. Yeah, they will come, they will back, come back, Abby. They will come back with you. Mini golf. This is the romantic spot. Come and sit down and watch the the fountain. <laughs> There's a small okay. golf course here. Okay. No, I'm near the paintballing thing. You can't have pleasure park without having some of the Sorry, creeks. Paintballing. I didn't even know we had this. I'm not a fan. But if you're a fan, it's here for you. Babe, I was talking earlier about how Portacot is like basically two extremes. We are pleasure, but we are also pain in the sense of we're still dealing with so many of our rights violations and still dealing with so much insecurity and just, you know, a lot of people are angry, Sha, but then we also know how to turn up on days like this. So yeah. I know you, you, you specialize in, <laughs> in advocating for those who have been hurt <laughs> and even your mom did that. So. Do you have anything to add about that? More like just talk to people about pH basically. Because that is an oil rich city, right? And this oil is a is a cost and a blessing. And that's how our life is as well in Portacos. We live as if it's a curse or a blessing. She's talking to you. Okay. One ticket. My selling ticket. Do you have your video in this? Yeah, so. Uh-uh. This is a game yeah. room or what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Nice. Okay. But, um, but yeah. I personally feel that the oil is a blessing and a curse, and we live our life like that. But that is two ways. There are the rich people, there are the poor people, the blessing and the curse. Mm. All the time in Patakot. Mm. So a time like this is probably the only time we would have to bring everybody together. Together, and yeah. That one time when we can unite Patakot, we actually make a conscious effort. Like, I'm trying to go here so that I can be with everybody. In yeah. Place, you know? What do you think about it? You know, in my head, some, when I was thinking about this festival, I was really thinking about how, you know, it's that type of thing. Like, it's a rare opportunity for us where everyone gets to come together and just cruise and vibe out. Vibe, yeah. So, how would you feel if companies. I hope this music is not going to be disturbing this thing, but um, how would you feel if, like, Shell or all those other oil companies did things like this as their own way of giving back? Do you think that would be enough? Or no. do you think <laughs> that can cut it? Shell can cut it. <laughs> but it's a step. I feel yeah. it's a step. No, I do not agree. Shell should focus on what is important. What, what they've already started. They said they want to. You have an oil, oil oil block. You come and take the oil block in the community. There are people there. You don't care for them. Don't build a school. But you want to do a show. Yeah. Go and build a school. Go and open a hospital. Women are giving birth. They need free health care. Yeah. If Shell can afford one company in your area like one one oil pipeline there that they are so rich from that one yeah so the people who are the locals of land deserve to be treated the best way possible yeah i agree with that i agree with that it's funny Sha, because um 
me I was thinking maybe something like that could be a step but then um, I don't think having that kind of mindset even considers fully everything that the people have dealt with and have been through so more definitely needs to be done and then hopefully after they do the concrete stuff like she has mentioned they can also do things like this to make us forget the pain to uh, yeah <laughs> exactly but after you do the important yeah after thing. you do the important thing. see our pool Chilling. Here's our pool. Oh, they are trying. <laughs> You're cruising. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. Me, me, you, you. We, we. Us, us. Them, them. Our, our. There's an echo. That one. Carry on. Carry on. But how will somebody just grab me? They're they based are on what? This is something else. But I got for it. They expect everybody to be hardcore in this. So that's it. That punched me at pleasure party. And I'll send you guys a video of Kufre when Kufre beats him. Wow. And he's still here. He's still here. He wants to talk to me. And I want to say I. He wants to say sorry. He's sorry. I heard him outside before. Sorry. Hi. Yeah, he decked me in my eye. <laughs> That's why you have to be hard. I'm so angry. Because guys are brushing babes. <laughs> the main man himself. Oh. Please, if you see this face, just run and hide. <laughs> hey, see, everybody's on say backstage. Media. Chima's on say Chima. I mean, eh? See how this man is calling me, Ibo man. No, I didn't say call me like that again. Call me like that again. Show them your behavior. No, now show them. Call me, call me. See how this guy called me. I'm not going anywhere. We're well, leaving the setup now, but people are already here. Oh, the famous school friend. Ah, ah. Show them now. Tell your fans what's up. Are you ready for your performance? Yes, I'm very ready. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> see, yeah, it's so hot. Break it down As, for the easy on that. Ali, she even has hat. See this also. Already, already, man. South, South, the best of the best. <laughs> yeah. Actually, just so you know, us. In fact, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Goodbye. I was going to say that OCJ Okocha was the lawyer that handled the case and work case, but that was. That, I don't want people to know that. that. Well. Yeah. Like my mom explained it to me. There is a way lawyers look at that thing. That's but the thing, as in I've also you confronted right, my like, dad about yeah, it. That. Like not that we are petty, but we are passionate. Yeah. So we took it like ah. Yeah, but then, exactly. but then they, they have the lawyers. Reason, there's I mean. always a loophole, should I say? You know, even though me, if I was the one, I would have been representing cancer. You want to go to the building that collapsed? Oh, wow, yes. Oh. I didn't even think it would still be there. So, this is the site. Yeah, wow. Come back and come down if you want. Yeah, let's come down. It is actually supposed to be at the it's, international. It's not up to what happened in Thailand that everybody it was on. It was on CNN everywhere. Yeah, CNN everywhere. Yeah. Actually, that's and very true. Look at they were only trapped there everywhere. Yeah, there. nothing has been. Yeah, 
Nothing. Tell me now, if they send this thing now, you will get Madam, can I video you? Won't they have removed anybody here? Yes. If it's I said, agree with you. Come and do this thing now, you'll become a governor or a political or anything. Won't they? Yes, come and do it. Yes, but ma. see how everything is just gone as if nothing. Human lives have been left here. Nobody. Yes. It's very, very unfair. Yes, Human ma. lives are not valued here in Nigeria. Look, if it's outside the country, even if it's an animal, 911 will be called. An animal. Yes, ma. That a cat, a dog, it's hanging somewhere, anything. 911 will be called. Yes, Please, everybody, rest took you will come down and remove that animal. But we are talking about human life. Human life. life. And nothing. Just see how they care, like everything, everybody just. How many people are here? Outside. It's very sad. Very, it's actually very, very, very sad. Very. And the very thing very. is, I heard that there are also people that are still there. They're still yeah, trapped still on there. there. That's oh my here. god. Still trapped there. We're praying. Very, very unfortunate. We're very, praying. Very. We don't value my life. But three home is going to fall. Nothing. Nothing. See what has been done. See what has been done. And you think anybody will be alive here? The ones they've been bringing us in first week, you can't identify them. People, how many workers, how many contractors, yeah. how many people were there? No number, no. there's no figure, nothing. nothing. Nobody's coming out to say, see, we are. It's saying, about this, 50, this one yeah. Saying, this one saying, 100. This one was just like that, nobody. Yeah. Even that they don't know the actual number of persons working there. That's These workers boys would are have doing to voluntary work. work. Nobody's paying them. Okay, just bring food, water, and drink. Because see, my drums are empty now. Look at my drums. Hello. Yeah. The drums are empty. No water. No water. They've been coming to ask for water now. No water. I'm even. And the government is supposed now. to at least supply the supply workers the so that they will continue doing, doing the, the work. work. Nothing. Nothing. So was he inside that building? He's, he's still, still there. there. Eh? She's waiting he's because of there. him that she's here. He's a Rotarian. There are people here? There are people, still there are people there, inside. Not only him. She, she said they brought out skull. There's a skull in there. Now. In there. Most of the people they brought out last week, just week, you can't identify them. Some of their pieces. Wow. It's terrible. We don't wow. value human and there is actually no publicity about this. No publicity, that's exactly no publicity. Yeah, no publicity. Is this not supposed to be an international? Exactly. Now every, my everybody are they not supposed to be here working? Where are the rescue we, team? Oh, we're actually sorry about that, man. Mm. We can only just hope that the future will be better. Will be better. Will be better. The future will be better. People like us now that are coming up. People like you. Imagine someone like you being in a position of power. You cannot look by and just allow this happen. I can't believe that there are still people there. Yeah. yeah. How long ago did this thing happen? Three, like, three weeks. weeks. Yeah. And we still don't have names of the workers that were in there supposedly. Wow. There's no list. As soon as she saw me with the camera, she just called me because they were about to tell me to go. Wow. Yeah, she just told me to come and I introduced myself. I even noticed one guy was looking at us beside I He's very close to something else. But we have to expose something like this. Mm. Yes. Thanks. It needs to be exposed. That thing that happened in Thailand, this thing is not happening. It's not up to what happened. Mm -mm. If CNN can actually carry what happened in Thailand, I believe this is definitely yeah. necessary. This was a seven-story building. Seven story or two story down. They, then they had an underground parking. Yes. That's the underground. Yeah, this is okay, we're well, in the underground now, yeah, apparently. Underground. So imagine how tall the building was. Yeah. Two story. But, and they said it was meant to be four-story building. Greedy and junior. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not on. I, mean, I said it's not on. Oh, see, he said to the camera and said this is already late. Okay, what, what, what you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. Oh, oh, they they do it. No, this is going to be a message for the next time that something like this happens. You are coming late. I'm coming late for what? Too late. If he's late, this thing will not be here again. As in, if he's late, this thing will not be here again now. Ask about Ankyo Briggs. Ankyo Babriggs. Did you come here? I did. Go and ask. Go and get your information. Then, then what was get your information. There's no, 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 no information you can get. Ankyo Briggs. You 
you don't have you me. You don't have 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 me.
But that's another thing. If there are really people there, where are their family members? They will be there if they were there crying and stuff, wailing. Then, really yeah. and truly, I'm sure more would have been done. Yeah, maybe. Not maybe, true. Sure. True. For me, I know that none of my family is in there. Maybe that's why I'm not. I'm, I'm angry about it, but maybe that's why I'm not there, sitting down with yes, them. Yes, exactly. And being like, oh, you people are not digging hard enough. Oh, I'm looking for this. Yeah. No, like maybe that's why I'm not doing that. I feel like the government should also be like they need to have like two ambulances there, two fire trucks, and whatever equipment they're going to be using as well. Exactly. He that's was saying that it's um, Shell, Junior's, oh, all these other companies that brought the equipment now like just on a voluntary basis like obviously the government is doing stuff but it's not like they just had yes oh by the Please, way mega get star. specific by the way mega star also sent in some uh people there oh wow yeah. trust them now they were actually on ground yeah. outrage at us being there though as if we're not trying like, to help babe what do you think we came for activism that is the real activism they you will always be challenged every step of the way small as thing you want to say you that to man help. came up to me. I have it on he video. Said I will beat. I will beat. Dead. Somebody not told him. He wants to beat us man. up and beat us. He said us. no. Police will bundle you up and beat you. No. So that makes that it makes okay. it okay. Yeah. <laughs> pain and pleasure. What I cause? Pain and pleasure. Thoughts been different. I got you, but it's me I'm missing.